can see, and he went to work taking advantage of what he had done what before. And this, again, as you said, is the semifinals of the uh, of the Van Tournament. And the winner of this match right here uh, was to wrestle a Mongolian stomper uh, for the final for the finals and for the Van in there. And Slater, at this point, I would have to say, uh, up until uh, you, you changed it around, and it looked like he had you gone. Well, I, I saw him right there. He started to back off. It was getting a little heavy for him in there, so so I just stayed right on him. I, I didn't really know where I was at. I just knew I was fighting with all I had, and I, I still was seeing that van for sure. And at this point now, you see we knocked the referee down, and I'm down too, and Slater rolls out. He's got his chain again. Well, had the referee have seen that, it would have been a disqualification right off the bat, and I would have went right Right on in the tournament with a stomper, but in this case, he's he's not crazy. You see, Bill runs out there now. Earlier, Bill had problems with this man, and in the struggle over the chain, I rolled him right up, and the referee gave him the three counts. So, and that, and that was it in the semifinal match. And Slater, furious, he right, is. right, he's <laughs> hot, and I can't say enough uh, uh, what a great friend and a close friend Bill Dundee is. Uh, not only to help me out there, but Bill's helped me so many times, and. You see there now, Slater, you may be about to bite off a little more than you can chew because I happen to know the superstar can dig it in there pretty deep. <laughs> yes, sir. But that, uh, and right away in the background, you can see Gorgeous George and the Mongolian Stomper coming right in. Now, this is for the finals. They're anxious to get in there. They know you've been hurt. Yeah, you see and, me over in the corner. Yeah. I just sprawled right out in the corner. Slater is lost. And uh, now, immediately boy. sensing the situation as it is, referee Tommy Marlin trying to uh, to Go give you an opportunity to take the legitimate the rest that you had coming back. in there, which was not long because it did follow. It was a continuous action one night thing. Let's listen to what happened as it took place right down there in the Mid-South Coliseum, Robert. where Slater beat on him. But he is really going after the stomper, or was, till the stomper just caught him. Fuller off the ropes. Stomper nails him. Gorgeous George is eighth wonder of the world, pounding on Robert Fuller. Fuller just finished a vicious match with Dick Slater. Stomper with that big foot kicking away at Robert. Robert Fuller grabs the stomper. Two, three, that's it. Well, that was it. That was, a, that was the payoff moment for Robert Fuller. Robert well, that's right, and uh, the Mongol apparently just figured, well, I got a piece of dead meat here, and I'm just going to pound on it and beat on it until I get ready to stop, and probably this boy's going to give up or whatever. And George, that's what he wanted, and he was screaming for it, and, and they just underestimated Fuller. That's one thing you don't do. You don't underestimate me because uh, I'm going to fight right to the end of the match. Boy, I'll tell you what. He was about ready to go get gorgeous George, anybody he could look at. He knew he had that van. That's all there was to it. He already had the keys in his pocket and ready to drive away in it, Robert. Yeah, well, he's going to find out. It's, it's, it's not good to underestimate any of his opponents, and particularly one that's, that's used to being beat on quite a bit from the time I started in this profession. So... Uh, maybe we'll get that thing turned around, Lance. Either congratulations way, again. I got that I van. It's the greatest prize ever. I want to thank Jerry Jarrett and, and everybody that put this tournament together. It's a fantastic thing to do for the people as well as for me. And thanks. We appreciate you coming out here and, and congratulations.